Ms. Gopinath, what was the what was the turning point for you uh, that that or who helped you thrive actually at the RBI? Yeah, that's a, uh, well, you know, many have been responsible for uh, to for helping me to thrive, I, including even I would add what um, Prabha said about the family. And I just want to make a point here that it's very important that women speak up and let your family know about your ambition. Because not letting them know is the worst thing that you could do to yourself. So just won't spend more time on that. So, well, I must say that, uh, you know, we, we had, you know, fantastic governors like Dr. Reddy, uh, Dr. Subarao, yeah. and even earlier Dr. Rangrajan and all of Jalan, them. Yeah. So even while Jalan, and even while I was in the middle level cadre, I remember Dr. Reddy, you know, before going for Basel meetings, he would get you know, a lot of agenda items being discussed and he would uh, send some of them to me for comments, particularly on the regulatory side. And of course, you know, I had to do that uh, additional, but it was so good. I can't tell you, you know, this is some form of, I don't know, mentorship, sponsorship, whatever you call that. And it gave me such an insight into what was being discussed internationally on particularly financial uh, policy issues. Uh, that was, a, I think, that and various other uh, matters. And, you know, one thing with, uh, with RBI was that we had, uh, for important policy decisions, all the deputy governors would be consulted. And even if uh, we are not directly involved, Dr. Reddy would ask us. And I, ha it's, it's, I have uh, sometimes, you know, I have taken certain positions which the others may not have, would, would not agree, but uh, Dr. Reddy was very, very fair, open to all all uh, opinions, including Dr. Subra also. Because Dr. Jalan, I worked with him as chief general manager, not yeah. as deputy governor. Yeah. One of the things that I think a CEO can, or even a, any any leader, any any leader, whatever level, should do, is how to get feedback. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one, uh, I remember what Dr. Reddy would do. He would call, you know, one level below, two levels below also. And you first ask the junior most to speak and give the opinion. Because once your seniors have spoken, you can't yeah. expect the junior to give his yeah. frank and free opinion. So that uh, all these things we learn a lot from our uh, leaders. And uh, there are many things, if I, I can keep on talking. But yes, I think the leadership in the RBI uh, have really encouraged not just me women, but even men to thrive. Absolutely, and the, <laughs> the the men clearly are thriving. When do you when do you think we'll see a woman at the top at the Reserve I Bank? Don't know. I hope they we do it. Fast. <laughs> I remember once uh, Pranam Mukherjee did mention that we should have a woman governor. I I hope it, it happens soon. But men will thrive. I agree. But women uh, need to thrive, and uh, should be encouraged to thrive. And all that's necessary needs to be done. Just give them the freedom and. Like she said, you know, the, the whole issue is about getting stretched assignments, getting the hot jobs. If you're not groomed for doing, get an exp if you're not getting exposures and you're not getting groomed, then it's, you'll always be short of the potential that is required yeah. to be a leader. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.